We are live from Rocky Mountain 2016 and it's Reviewer's View and I'm here with Kemper Holt. Kemper, how are you? Good yourself. And Dave Clark from Positive Feedback. How Dave, how are you? Good All to right. see you. Doing great. I want to welcome Kemper on board as an AV Showrooms Reviewer this year. Welcome aboard. Thank you. Thank you, Peter. It's great to have you. Nice to be here. So what we do at Reviewer's View is we like to throw out what was, uh, let's start at the top. What was your favorite room this year, Dave? Well, the rooms that really impress myself and, and Carol when we walk around is looking for stuff that's like, it's affordable, it's new, it's kind of cutting edge. So the rooms that stood out for us would be like the ELAC room where they're new integrated. Was that cool or what? Yeah. In, in fact, I shot video of that room yesterday at 4.30 in the afternoon and I never put video up on the same day of and the show. What's amazing is that whole system, either system in either room, yeah, yeah. $1,700. It's amazing. Yeah, complete. Complete. Yeah. Complete. And oh, other... oh, big announcement? Big announcement? Yeah. ELAC acquired yeah. Audio Alchemy at, just yesterday. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, happy Peter years. Madden. Yeah, it made yes. Peter very happy. Yeah. I did ask yeah. who paid for who, but they wouldn't say. So. <laughs> yeah. uh, the other room that stood out is is the Orlick with the Ryan Acoustics. And Wasn't that great? They're new integrated. Uh, what's, it's right on my list, too. So yeah. I, I could take that off my list because it was one. Yeah, yeah those yeah. are the 5,000 a pair. You got it. Right. Yeah. And the their new integrated kind of does everything, including phono, mm -hmm. for 3700 Yeah, I mean, Streamer. Everything. Yeah, it's a, uh, it's like uh, the Swiss Army knife of uh, high-end audio. Right. Yeah. Yeah. It's really elegant looking too. Yeah, yeah it is. Yeah. yeah. Any color you want, as long as it's. It, white as or long black. as it's white or black. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Kemper, your standout room. Uh, my standout room has to be the uh, Vandersteen Audio Research Room. See, it's no. just stunningly realistic sounding. Uh, no sounds, no sense of a speaker anywhere. Mm -hmm. uh, great. Session all the way to the bottom. Mm -hmm. Superb clarity, mm -hmm. uh, great dynamic. Yeah. Stevie Ray Vaughan and just the car just jumped out. Mm -hmm. Great system. Mm -hmm. Well, I'm going to throw out mine. I just heard it, so it's fresh in my mind. That always happens. The last room I come from, I'm always the first room to throw out at the at the viewers. It was the gamut room. And he has the, the little uh, RS3s. Right. I get the model numbers of, uh, you know, mixed up at the end of the day. These are the speakers that are this big. They're $22,000, so they're not entry level pricing, but it competes with $100,000 yeah. speakers. Warm, rich, warm, very luscious, rich, huge, huge, huge. Of course, he did have the speakers really far apart. He did, yeah. Yeah, 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 that did help. Yeah, big, yeah, big sounds yeah, huge, but yeah, yeah. Spinning vinyl. Sounded wonderful. Sounded wonderful. Yeah. We uh, played Vanessa Fernandez and the viewers. You're going to hear that. So, oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. So that's going to that's going to definitely be happening. Dave's not a Uh For the fun of it, Whetstone Audio. They're a dealer mm -hmm. in Austin. Mm -hmm. Plays great music. It's all Torres, mm -hmm. which is two. Everything was that company. Mm -hmm. uh, very right there. Mm -hmm. Pace, rhythm, timing. Mm -hmm. He played Talking Heads. That was just like, it was like they're there, right there live playing in the room. Very cool. Very really, cool. really great. Very cool. Very cool. And fun people too, which yeah. is cool. Yeah. yeah. Very personable. Let's have a good time. Mm -hmm. And good barbecue. <laughs> <laughs> they had barbecue? You can't go wrong. <laughs> well, I'm going to throw out a room. I really like, I was impressed with the Nagra room this year. Uh, they had the Cronus Limited Edition turntable. The Nagra amps, uh, they were powering the Avalon's, smaller Avalon loudspeakers. And Nagra has reinvented itself, guys. They have a new head designer. Mm -hmm. And their old designer used to design by specification only. Yeah. And the new designer invites conductors over to his home. And there's a whole new sound and gestalt to Nagra. Yeah. It was a so, good room. It was a very good room. Yeah, Nagra used to be a little bit more analytical. Uh, that's a right. Bit recording like yeah. and now. That's right. Yeah, we went in there. It's like, this is Nagra. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Sandy yeah. Ghost uh, sat down next to me and played a. A piece he wanted to hear, and it was, it was very good. Yeah, that's a, it was just a, a great room. They could change their name to Niagara. Ah, I love and the it. music just <laughs> kind of flows you. over you. That's, a, that's so great. That's, that's my perfect. In the county, <laughs> Niagara, I love it. <laughs> well, I'll throw another room out. Um, the U, uh, the UHA deck in the classic audio excellent. room, excellent, very musical sound. This is not standard hi-fi. This is kind of a, like a, it's got a musical vintage sound to it. Field coil drivers. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So you're not going to get that image sharp 
shaving your ears off on right, bright recordings. Right, right. And uh, it was interesting, when I was in the room, there was a man talking to John Wolfe, who's the owner of Classic Audio Loudspeakers, and he was buying a pair right there. And how often do we see that in a show, someone actually Rarely. buying Puts, something? I bought something. Did you? Yeah. What'd you buy? I bought uh, two records and uh, the ultrasound record player. Nice. Before the show even opened. Nice. Yeah, we were like, oh, Nice. <laughs> nice, nice, nice. Uh, we bought a lot of food. <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah, yeah. Uh, another room stood out for us was Burwell and Sons. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. With the PS Audio, I felt that Newport it wasn't really it was great, but here it just kind of all came together. How about and, that and Burwell? Yeah, that's yeah. the wooden horn now speaking. Yeah, beautiful, yeah. impeccably built. Gorgeous. The workmanship is superb. Yeah. Wonderful. Yeah. yeah, California company. Yep. Well, I did see those burrows for, for the first time, I think it was five years ago, at the Northern California show. I was impressed. I thought, boy, they have a lot of nerve selling these speakers for $80,000 yeah. and no one's ever heard of them yeah. before, but now I get it. Yeah. So, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Plus they had a full bar. Yeah. So that yeah. Well, that is, yeah, yeah. We like the full bar. Yeah. Yeah. Full bar was good. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, no, Actually, they, they called that room treatment. I said room treatment. Room treatment. <laughs> Give us another room camper. Uh, I've got to go with the uh, VTL Wilson room. The new events. Mm -hmm. uh, that's the best Wilson I've heard in a long, long time. It's, no. it's affordable. The room sounded terrific. Uh, Peter McGrath set it up superbly. Um, top to bottom, one of the best. I miss that room. Uh, Peter McGrath is one of the best guys in the business, so there's no doubt. And Wilson Audio is, you know, the baton is being handed. You know? Right, this is the, they're, they're handing the baton yeah. down to the family member, and they're so the same thing with yep. Von Schleicher. Another, another father-son yeah. hand-me-down. In obviously fact, obviously VPI. Obviously VPI, another father-son hand-me-down. So we have continuity in the high end. I think the event is Daryl's third design for for Wilson, Wilson. And, yeah. it, and it's. Definitely the right direction to head. That's super. They're man. doing great. They're, they're, they're great. And speaking of Von Schweiker, the Von Schweiker room, they had the, the well, they're now, and they acquired Endeavor Audio. Mm -hmm. Right. So Life uh, Sw uh, Swanson is Endeavor's, was Endeavor's chief designer. Now he's the head salesperson and assistant design with Albert, is still aboard. So Albert's doing some of the work and helping Life with some of the speakers. Right. Yeah. They had the E5s yeah. there. And Damon's doing an excellent job running the company. For sure. Yeah. For sure. It was like, wow. Yeah. They said it was an easy transition because Endeavor's literally across the street. Yeah, well, that's from, it. From, from Von Schweiker. That's so it. It's like, hey, we're right here. That's yeah. it. And it wasn't just the Von Schweiker room because it was actually the Skogan room. Yeah, Skogan Cable. It was Skogan Cable yeah. room. For sure. So the, he led the room. And in fact, they were they were nudging each other. <laughs> because <laughs> got to tie it all together. You got to tie it all together. Yeah. So, hey, folks, without cables, we don't have sound. Simple as that. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Yep. Another one, Um I would go with the uh, Rado room with the Avic uh, integrated. I'm seeing a trend here to one box systems that are elegant, sensationally sounding. Yes. This one's a little expensive, but that room, the Rado 4.1s and the Avic, uh, just astounded me. Uh, I heard something. Yeah, some very unfatiguing. Very unfatiguing. Michael has got that tweeter just perfectly matching in with the mid range unit. And in fact, I'm the lucky guy here because we always we always have this thing. I throw this out, and I'm going to catch you off guard. What would you take home from the show? So you think about that because I can tell you right now, they're getting shipped to me those D.4, uh, 4.1. So they're oh, you I, are lucky. Don't I know, so, <laughs> so I don't even have to put them on my wish list oh, because that's going to happen. So yeah, 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 yeah. So uh, I'll throw out another room. Let's see, uh, J Jeff Rowland. And he has the Damon integrated. Damon integrated is about this big by about that tall, and it does everything. It has a DAC, it has a Thunder Stage, it has, you can stream. I mean, it is another Swiss Army knife. Yeah. yeah. And it had Jeff Joseph's little speakers. Right, the little yeah. minuscule line, the little preamp. Yes, we the little power We got video of the new ones, yeah, yeah. the and small ones, yeah. They're under, I think they're around. Under two thousand, I think you're right. I think you're right. Yeah, somewhere in there. Great deal. Yeah, so Jeff's really looking to go from the top of the market, and he goes down to the lower part of the market. And that Damon, that is a switching amplifier that sounded fantastic on speakers that I usually likes two amplifiers. Switching has come a long way in the last few years. It sure has. Switching has come a very, very long way. Jeff's doing a great job making it sound good. He does. He makes it sound great. Really makes it sound good. Uh, Dex, 
the Dex room was wonderful as usual. Yeah, because they can make a great room. they can make anything sound great. It sounds mm -hmm. like what they do. That was the best A B demonstration yeah, of the yeah. show, I thought. With I, I have a Dex unit at home, and I can you know, say yes. If you have anything that's lacking, this can fix it. And, find that happy spot where you want to be. Without it, plain Jane, with it, wow. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'll throw out a room, I'll throw out a couple rooms. I like the acoustic zen room on the first day. I guess I like it because I also have a pair of acoustic zen crescendos under review, so I'm really attuned mm -hmm. to it. When us reviewers review equipment and then we hear it at shows, we kind of, we, you know, we're, we know the dance because we're dancing with the same lady. Mm -hmm. So then when we get to the show, we can hear the high points that we're hearing in our own listening rooms. For sure. So that was a standout room for me. For sure. Another standout room for me, I like the box of the room. That's always one of my favorites. I'm just, uh, I just got a weak spot in my heart for box of it. Okay. Yeah, there's just something about that single driver. It's so coherent, really coherent. And they're doing a great match matching that sub to it. And that sub is perfectly matched. You're yeah, right. right. You're right on with that one. Right on. Uh, Zesto and Martin. How about yes. that? Yes. Wow. How about that? Yeah. Uh, y Wires throw, saw yep. them throughout the show. They're yep. doing great tying everything together. But mm -hmm. the Zesto Martin room. Big, dynamic, yep. uh, clean, mm -hmm. very articulate. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Easy, relaxing. You wanted to, I had uh, Linda Ronstadt there, big band. Yeah. She was here. What's new? No, I heard her. <laughs> <laughs> well, I sounded like she was here. And Count Basie sounded awfully good in that room as well. How about that? Another room. Um, I would go with uh, Philip O'Hanlon's uh, Vivid Luxman room. How was that? I he, missed that room this year? He had the, uh, the best orchestral reproduction at the show, I think. The room was just, the, the orchestra just exploded off the back of the, uh, of the, of the stage. It was just wonderful, and uh, I think he does a great job with that. So I think he does too. Yeah. The, those vivids are unusual looking. Yeah. My wife's yeah. not going to have them. No. But they, yeah. Yeah. It's an acquired they do their job. Yeah, it's an acquired taste. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I felt uh, John DeVore's room with his little. Yeah, yeah that's always house. a strong sounding and room. He had the bigger uh, O nines. I don't know the model number. But yet. his room, always, yes, the orangutan. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, the electronics was all under two, three thousand dollars, driven by great electronics, affordable, mm -hmm. great sound, very musical, and you know, loved it there. How about that? Let's see. I'll a uh, couple things that stood out. I like the synergistic research demo. He did the power cell in and the power cell out. I get it on tape, and you know, so I'm sitting there taping the thing. So I get to hear these ABs all the time, and I always hear a difference. Mm -hmm. So go, go figure. I yeah. mean, and money back guarantee you on yeah. almost all their products. You know, you got to give that stuff a try, folks. If you if you've been looking at it and you think it's snake oil, uh uh, it works. Trust me, yeah. I have it. I've been using it. I think, I think in that room, all he was doing was taking the charge bias off the cells and the... And the and that's that exactly it. Just taking just the bias that. off. That's it. Just the bias on and the bias it's off. Yeah. So the stage went from this to this to this and, to and this. the bass went from good to great. Yeah. And you weren't biased when you were in there. <laughs> I wasn't biased. <laughs> Unbiased offender. <laughs> uh, zoo audio. Zoo's, Zoo's always good. Zoo's Zoo right behind us back here. Yeah. Yeah. Zoo with yep. Beach Street. Yep. The, the thing about Zoo is you go in there and with... with David running, David Solomon, life of the party. Yeah, I just love He's a music. great guy. He likes yeah. Yeah. You yeah. cannot, I mean, it's like, here it is Sunday, I'm dead tired, and he's still running full force in there. I don't know what Red Bull, like, caffeine, yeah. I don't know what And it just keeps going. He's wired. Yeah. 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 Yep, yep. But yeah, we mentioned uh, the Wilson Bennett room. That was a very good room. The, their That's new speaker. A Audio Imports uh, just acquired the dis dis North American distribution ship for Wilson Benash. And they had these carbon fiber blue speakers, and there's, these were like in the lower part of their line. And I'll tell you, that room disappeared. Mm -hmm. They had a low frequency expander, and it's a single unit, it's round, and it sits in the middle of the room, and it's only it's about that tall, and it's about this big around. It's an 18 inch woofer. They're not using the word subwoofer, so they're trying to, you know. A, create new vocabulary here, low frequency expander. But I've heard people use it with Magicos and it's opened up the room. And I believe it, when you add a little bit of oomph down at 30 hertz and below, you really take the pressure off your loudspeakers and you can open up the sound stage. Well, you get greater sense of space. That's exactly The whole it. room just kind of It's swells. surprising it did. how much low frequency extension does expand the sound stage. It did, yeah. yeah. So he's aptly named that product. 
Uh, PS Audio was impressive, especially with the new memory player that's come out. Yep, yep, so, very impressive. Always big sound in there. Yep, love that. Yeah, and in fact, you were saying we were saying Ryan with a with a Ralic, but actually Ryan, uh, the one I was talking about, the room, it had the hardest wiring. And it was all PS Audio. That was the big. That was a big. The yeah, big. The big yeah, yeah, yeah. That's and yeah. That I, was a wonderful sounding. That room. was a wonderful sounding room. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, they look great too, don't, don't they? they? The yeah. fit and finish, <laughs> off the charts, bang. You know, made the well, U.S. Yeah, made yeah, in the USA. Side. Made in California. Yep. Well, what we'd like to do at the end of reviewers' view, I've already done mine. <laughs> One piece that you could take yeah, home. Cost no object, size no object. It doesn't matter if you have a mansion or a, 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 a mini a mini house. Uh, what would you take home from the show, Dave? I'm gonna take uh, home my wife over there. <laughs> that is a good, safe answer. <laughs> no, some I, I I am getting the Orlick unit soon. I good. think that's gonna be a fun review because to me it's always fun. It's like all in one kind of thing, so yeah. just fun to play with. Yeah. Uh, that's kind of what I'm looking forward to. Okay. So, and we did buy a record player, so that's going to be kind of that's fun. That's really cool. I get Good. that next week, so Good. I don't have to take it home. It'll be there when I get home. Hey, bingo. Yeah. Kemper, how about you? I take it home. I would take home the uh, Van der Steen 7 Mark IIs with their matching amps. That's, they were just wonderfully good. Well, you know, maybe we ought to talk about Richard and getting you a review sample of those for next year. So, you know, maybe that can sure happen. Richard would do that. Yeah, I'm sure he would yeah, do that. Yeah. The only, the, the bad thing is you're going to have to send it back and yes, you write exactly. a big check. So. Box them up. <laughs> Box them up. Well, this wraps up Reviewer's View for Rocky Mountain 2016. And I think we all have to say something about the venue. Now the venue this year, the hotel wasn't finished, so we're in half the hotel. And actually, it ran much smoother than I thought. The room sounded way better than I thought. I told this to Marjorie, uh, uh, the organizer, yesterday that, you know, no one at all that we bumped into has complained. And they said, well, we have to work around the air conditioning ducts in the room. And, and I'm thinking to myself, well, yeah, everybody has to work around anomalies in their rooms. Right. And I said, this is what separates the men from the boys. Can you set up a room in a, a listening system in a hotel room and make it sound good? Right. And I'll tell you, there's darn good sound at Rocky Mountain For this sure. year. Yeah. The staff at the hotel, amazing. Yep. Love yep. the staff. Yep. Wonderful. Our rooms were great. Uh, I agree with everything you're saying. Yep. Most of the rooms sounded wonderful. Our philosophy has always been if I walk in and it doesn't drive me out, it's probably a good sounding room. Well, it is what you're dealing with and that's this is right. what you got. That's right. And as you can hear, we're, you can hear a lot of music in the background here because we are at an uh, audio festival. And so these rooms are producing big sound. We're hearing a lot of Led Zeppelin right behind us right now, and it's sounding great. And I want to sign off from Reviewer's View and run over and listen to some Led Zepp. You guys want to join me? Yes. Sure. Let's, Let's go do that. Yes. Okay. Anyway, Peter Brunninger reporting for AB Showrooms. Kevin Holt for AB Showrooms. And Dave, Dave Clark, Clark for positive, positive feedback. feedback. So see you guys at the next audio show. We're going to go listen to some Led Zeppelin right now. Rock on. Yeah, rock on. Thumbs up. <laughs> Take care. <laughs>